Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Angie and on this video I am going to talk about divine femininity. Uh, how I understand it and uh, my experience with it. So this is more uh, of my perspective because I know that already is uh, information about this topic online but uh, here I am going to talk about the aspects which most resonated with me and uh, how I uh, understand this. So, uh, for me, Divine Femininity is about uh, receiving and being. So, these are two uh, aspects uh, which uh, I think have to do with uh, Divine Femininity. First is the energy of uh, receiving and then the state of uh, being. So, uh, if we compare it with the masculine, the masculine is about doing and uh, achieving results. The feminine is about being and um, enjoying more the process. The feminine is about the content, while the masculine is about the structure. In fact, we need both in our life in order to also um, have the structure, but also uh, relax in our femininity. So it's, uh, as I see it, doing versus being. Uh, you can do the same thing, the same activity in a feminine way or in a masculine way. For example, even if it is something which has to do with appearance of or uh, self-care in uh, as a woman, Often it can also be done in a masculine way if you want to do it in the shortest amount of time possible, uh, if you are rushing, uh, but it can also be done in a feminine way if you are enjoying the process and just uh, focusing on how to make it more pleasurable rather than how to get it done uh, really fast. So, uh, it has to do with uh, being versus uh, doing. So, how to uh, go immediately in a state of being? Here are uh, some uh, tips that uh, I have uh, used, that I use in my life to when I find that uh, I am in my head and I want to go fast into the energy of being. Uh, the first tip is to focus on only the next two or three minutes, uh, like only those uh, two or three minutes exist. This is the closest you can get to uh, being focused on the present moment, like uh, focusing on the next two or three minutes, just uh, like... Um, that's all, like, like uh, all life is there. You don't have to stop what uh, you are uh, doing. Uh, for example, if you are washing the dishes or even if you are reading something, don't think about, for example, reading the whole book and when you are going to finish it, but just focus on reading uh, only that page, which is... Uh, before your, uh, in front of your eyes, uh, and on only just those few minutes. Then uh, do the same thing in the next two or three uh, minutes. So you can do uh, this uh, not just staring in the blank, but uh, when you are uh, doing something and focusing on that. Focus on your senses and notice the detail of uh, what you are being with. So uh, you can uh, do the same activity uh, while uh, being in a state of being and in a state of doing. If you are just doing it, you are um, doing 
it to get rid of it and finish it and just come to the results while if you are in the state of being you are just being uh, with that thing and focusing on the time and the details and the senses while being with that thing so uh, to go in the state of being focus on your senses if you want to immediately get on into this state uh, one uh, way that i use to get fast into my energy of being is using hip rotations and also doing this with uh, music so um, just with uh, music in my headphones uh, doing some hip rotations uh, hip rotations uh, can be done at least how i do them is also on the uh, ellipsium so um, just doing uh, exercise and also moving your hips uh, and also doing this with music this helps me to uh, get into uh, my energy of being i just feel like the music is not outside of me but it just in me inside me because also my uh, body everything starts to uh, move with the energy of that rhythm of the, that music and i get faster this way in the present moment so senses help a lot for example movement music and closing my eyes uh, helps to uh, get into that energy of being then uh, the feminine energy has also to do about receiving and i'm going to talk more about receiving here uh, to receive you need there are two parts you need to have a desire first and then to be adaptable to your environment to be receptive uh, from your environment to receive uh, what already is there so let's talk about receiving uh, so uh, to receive uh, as i said you need to uh, be adaptable with your environment the more intuitive and adaptable you are with your environment the easier it is going to be for you to receive but before this you need to uh, have uh, desires and express them in some way like for example by express them i mean for example writing them on your journal and expressing them by uh, showing up as if you already have what you desire so uh, for example one uh, situation or way to uh, receive uh, is to go out uh, for example in uh, public with your journal go to some new pleasant place or a cafeteria or something well, in a place which is semi-private when you feel uh, that uh, safe uh, those safe feelings and write your desires uh, on your journal while being there for example uh, even if you uh, if your desire is to attract a partner or a husband uh, go out to a public place or a cafeteria and uh, write there your love list this will uh, help you have that energy and it is strange how fast this uh, can work but uh, this can um, make with the help of law of attraction um, the men who have the criteria that you love approach you and just be um, appear more uh, in your present so uh, I found this really helpful to um, write your love list or even just your list of uh, desires when you are somewhere uh, inspiring and 
somewhere out in the public, in the middle of people, if you want to attract people, because your mind and what you are writing will uh, really attract what you desire. So how to receive what you desire? Focus on your feminine activities and pleasure and watch think that you desire come your way. By focusing on your feminine activities, um, it gets you in, more in a state of pleasure and in a state of uh, receiving. And just notice, just notice how things come your way. And um, journal about this. Uh, if you have never journaled and you uh, don't know where to start, this is a very good starting point um, to uh, see. Uh, just ask in your, quest, uh, in your journal a question, how is the journal responding to me? So how it is responding to your desires? Just express the desire and live as if you have it. Then notice, notice the thing coming your way and journal about this. The more you notice this, the more um, things, other things that you desire uh, will come your way because you will start uh, expecting this. Also use affirm affirmations like the more I am in my pleasure, the more I receive. So this affirmation helps a lot, helps with uh, expecting uh, to receive and uh, expecting to receive when you are in your uh, pleasure. Also, another important part of uh, receiving is to not expect to uh, receive things only from one uh, specific source. Because things uh, that you desire will come to your path, uh, to your, uh, path uh, from the least resistant source. So this means that, for example, if you desire money or if you desire, um, I don't know, something else, let's say uh, it's money that you desire, don't expect them to come only from one uh, specific uh, source uh, because you will block all our other possibilities. They often will come from the least resistance source. The same is also from uh, for the uh, attracting a partner or if you want some uh, specific uh, things, some specific characteristics for him to have, don't expect that um, your a man, your partner, for example, should do this. Just leave him in his free will, but own your desire. So don't expect um, the person you are with to be forever with him and like he will need to change. Uh, by breaking his free will, but be receptive to the environment to receive um, and maybe you are not meant to be with this person is what I mean. Just own your uh, desires and set him free. And the third part, another thing that uh, I want to mention about uh, divine femininity is, at least as I see it, is also darkness and mystery. Um, I uh, see that part which is really uh, evident and uh, which has to do with uh, moving in silence. So the divine femininity, femininity is also the energy of darkness. This doesn't mean that it's something bad or ugly. It simply means that we create away from the eyes of the public. The feminine is hidden, the, is the darkness, the masculine is the light. 
and I really feel that it just part of me and just uh, who I am, the part of that um, that mystery, and I really love that thing of just moving in silence and uh, creating in the darkness, then going to uh, light. That uh, uh, idea of being away from the public's eye, uh, the, this uh, aspect of femininity is also symbolic, Is it's like birthing a baby when life is created in the darkness and then put out to the light. And often most of our good things, our good desires, uh, things that we want to manifest, often uh, are manifested in a dark room. Often the biggest uh, manifestations, the biggest uh, things that will later uh, go out um, in the light are created from a desire in a dark room. So I think uh, this is also part of that uh, divine femininity. And as I see, this is uh, in practical, more practical in life, is to uh, move in silence. Not um, share everything about uh, yourself and just have that uh, uh, mystery and that uh, mystic quality uh, in yourself. It just, it's not just about uh, attraction and to attract other people with mystery, but just uh, I think it's part of the femininity uh, and part of uh, who feminine women are. So uh, that's all about, uh, um, that's all for this uh, video. Uh, these were my uh, thoughts and how I see this whole uh, divine femininity thing. So if you have any comments or want to suggest a topic that I uh, need to talk about uh, in the future, just write me in the comments. Uh, so see you in the next one. Bye.